I'm out of wine. Empty bag of wine. My woman isn't going to be happy about that. Good news is, we're going to find a way to reuse this wine bag. That way we can put whatever other bottle of wines, or even maybe a mixed drinks, or for all that matter, iced tea even to put in it. So at any rate, what we're going to do, let's take a look at the bag. We've got the spigot, and there's this little grommet sort of assembly that the spigot slides into. All we're going to do is grab a screwdriver. Maybe you have your husband do this. You might say, I don't need no man. That's right, you don't need a man. It's easy enough to do as it is. So we're going to take our screwdriver, we're just going to put it right in between the black spigot and this sort of tan grommet assembly. Just give it a slight twist. Now be careful not to twist it too hard. You don't want to damage and bend and warp this, this grommet here much. You might do it a little bit. That's unavoidable. But we're just going to turn it, squeeze it until it starts to pop out. You can see it's quite loose. Just grab it and pull it right out of the bag. Boom. Done. So now we've got the bag. You're going to want to rinse this bag out real well. Some warm water, some soap. Swish it around a few times. Rinse it out. Swish it around. Rinse it out. You want to get rid of that smell of that old beer. What are you putting here? You know, you don't want to taint the taste of it with the, the old box of wine. You know, you may have this sitting around for a few days. Or for us, a box of wine. We drink the box of wine until there's about a cup left, and it takes us a month to finish that last cup. So, anyway, so let's let's assume that we've washed this, rinse it out. Now, when you dry it out, what you want to do is maybe I don't know, put it on a, a broomstick or something, so you kind of open up and let air in there. If you rinse it out and dry it out and let it lay flat, I'm afraid it might build up some mildew in there. I don't know. Otherwise, just rinse it out and use it right away, no problem. So let's say we've got this all clean and dried out. Let's grab our, our spigot. Let's pour in some, some pink Moscato. She likes this stuff. So let's just go ahead and pour it right on in the bag. Look, 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 look. Sounds like a party. All right. One bottle of wine. Now becoming a bag of wine. So simply snap the spigot back in place. You hear it pop once, pop twice, almost pops three times. You'll see it's in there real good. Maybe give it a second, check it, make sure it's not leaking. Looks good. You're going to grab your wine purse, ladies. Our party purse. Because we're going out. Just like the previous video where I showed you how to pop it in place. Oh, you know one important thing I should point out. Uh, after you pour the wine in there, we're going to want to bleed the air out. It's kind of tricky. So be careful, but basically, kind of put the bag upside down, open the spigot, and just kind of squeeze the air out. You hear the air coming out. I don't know if you can hear that, it's kind of whispering at us. Just kind of squeeze the air out, almost till a little bit of wine comes out of the spigot, then close it. Now we've got a good airtight. See, there's no air in there, it's going to make that wine stay on. It's nice and airtight. At this point, we're just going to pop it into our party purse. And then I'm going to go and pull the car around, let my lady finish getting ready. And we're going to go out to a park or who knows where we're going to go. But wherever it is, we're going to have our party purse. We're going to have some fun. So anyways, that's how you reuse the wine bag in your party purse. Have fun.